Hi, Hillary Tempest Cells here, and today we're doing a short info video uh, about genes, specifically how to tell men's genes from women's genes. Um, I don't know if uh, your thrift stores are anything like mine, but mine tend to get the genes mixed up. And so you're thinking like, oh, I'm picking up a pair of 32 uh, women's jeans and they're not, they're men's. <laughs> and you don't realize it till you get home. And sometimes I've been stumped. I've gotten jeans home from the store and thought they were women's when I was buying them and to find out that they were men's or they didn't, you know, that I wasn't sure. So um, I did some research and I found out how to tell men's jeans from women's jeans and I thought I would share that info with you. So let's just get into it, shall we? So we're gonna look at a pair of women's jeans first. These are Levi's. Uh, these are modern skinny, what are they called? Uh, modern rise skinny and they are in a size 10 slash 30. So if you can see that, uh, the 30 uh, usually corresponds to the waist and then the 10 is uh, uh, just a women's size 10. Um, what we can notice about these first off is the first point is just how short that fly is. And That's the fly. Now we're going to take a pair of, oh, the, I grabbed the wrong jeans. Silly me. Um, we're gonna take a pair of men's jeans. These are a pair of Tyndales, and they are very heavy. Uh, we're gonna look at the fly. <laughs> look how long that fly is. <laughs> Can you see that? I mean, if we put my, the fly is longer than my hand. And we're gonna look at the sizing on these. Uh, and it gives me waist 32, yeah. Waist 32, length 32. So usually when you have the two measurements, the waist and the inseam, uh, that means men's. But I have seen some women's do that. So the next thing to look at, if we're not sure, uh, because we're not sure if that fly is long or short or medium or whatever, is to look at the pocket. Now we're gonna put my hand in the pocket. That is it, I'm at the end of the pocket. You, I, My fingers are still, out of the pocket. So we're not gonna be, you know, storing a lot of goodies in there. Let's look at the men's. Same hand, same pocket. Into the wrist. Where'd my hand go? Men's jeans have deeper pockets. Darn it. So uh, we know that the length of the fly and the depth of the pocket are a way to tell women's, women's jeans from men's jeans. Uh, the next is a little, sometimes a little subtle, but uh, from the women's jeans, and you can kind of see from the way I'm holding it, uh, that one, you get this uh, like kind of a big dip in there because the women's jeans are cut a little shorter uh, in the front. And then there's kind of a gentle bend here for the hip. Uh, it looks like it's, there we go. There's like a, a little bend for the, for the hip. Now, when we look at men's jeans, oh, let me just do up the button here so you can see better. That dip is not as pronounced, and the the curve here is really kind of non-existent. Uh, let me bring my hands in so you can see that a little better. There really isn't a curve; uh, it, they just kind of fall like straight down. Uh, sometimes when uh, men's jeans are a little wider in the thigh, they'll look like women's jeans because it kind of looks like it has that curve. Um, so, like I said, more tools in the toolbox. It's better to just look at everything. Um, if you get the inseam measurement, women's jeans will typically only go to about 30 on the inseam. Men's jeans run the whole gamut. If a women's jean is above 30, it will sometimes say that it's a tall. I know this because I have a 32 inch inseam. So uh, 30 inch uh, inseams don't work quite so well for me. But here, okay, I'm trying to hold it straight. And you can kind of see this is mostly straight. And here's uh, where the, 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 I don't know what's it, the inseam, not the inseam, the crotch, uh, 
where it ends is right here. And men's jeans have a little extra room in the butt. Uh, their jeans will hang a little bit more, be a little bit more roomy. They'll also be usually a little more room across the thigh and in the crotch. So there's a little extra room there. Women's jeans, when I hold them up here, on these, let's see, these are so soft. I don't know if they're going to do it. Okay, here. This curve isn't pr as pronounced as it is on the men's because we don't get as much room in the tuchus. Also, the thighs tend to be a little slimmer cut and there's not as much room in the front here. So, looking at those uh, signifiers, let's go through some jeans and see what we can learn. The first pair uh, is a pair of Tommy Bahama jeans. These are so soft. Um, I wanted these to be women's because I thought maybe one day, um, not today because I had gummy bears for dinner, um, but I get a measurement of 33 and 30. So 33 inch waist, 30 inch uh, inseam. So that leads me to believe that these are men's, but we're gonna look at our indicators and see if, if we can learn anything different. Um, when I stretch my hand out against the fly here, uh, that's a little longer uh, than the, the Levi's, but it's still pretty short. And I still get from the bottom of the fly to the inseam, that's about three inches. So I'm not sure yet. Let's go ahead and put our hands in the pockets. Okay, my hand is fully in the pocket, so Fly, I'm not sure, leaning more toward ladies. Pockets, leaning toward men's. Uh, measurement, leaning toward men's. And let's look at the butt. That is a saggy butt. That That is a butt with some room. And we're going to flip these out and see if we get more of a ski slope, which we do. So these are men's. And I know at one time somebody told me that if there are double belt loops in the back, that they're men's. Um, but I've seen women's jeans with double belt, belt loops and most of them just have the single. So I don't know if you know anything different, let me know in the comments. Now, uh, the next pair of jeans we have are a pair of Fendi jeans. And we're just gonna take a look at, well, we can already tell that that fly is super short. That is about a four or five inch fly. Uh, we don't even need to put our hands in these tiny little pockets to know that these are women's jeans. So uh, we also have a little short slope here. So we're gonna put those in the women's pile. Now, these ones, when they were hanging on the rack at the store, I got these at a consignment store. And when they were hanging on the rack, they were in the men's section, but I just knew they were women's jeans. They just looked like women's jeans to me. Uh, and not to make any sort of gender bias or anything. I just was like, oh no, these, are, these look like women's jeans. Um, but when I went to ring them up, she's like, oh, the men's jeans are blah, blah, blah. And I was like, these are men's? But, uh, let's verify. So we're gonna look at our fly. And the fly to crotch, uh, that's a smaller amount. The fly is, is long. The pockets are very deep. We definitely get a good uh, slope off of that crease in the butt. And that butt is a little baggy. So we're going to put these in the men's pile. The original jeans that prompted this video were uh, these Joe's jeans. And the style name is Rebel. Um, and I get this information here, which says Rebel and then W32, W32. So waist is 32. So we're gonna hold these up and we're gonna look at the fly. That's a pretty long fly. So men's, hands in the pocket. It's a deep pocket, but it's not as deep at the other, as the others. Um, but I'm still gonna say men's. 
Now we're going to look at the back. That is definitely a slope. And we're going to look at the butt. And there's definitely some room here. So this leads me to believe that these are the men's Joe's Jeans Rebel. So we're going to put them in the men's pile. So I hope that this was helpful and uh, let me know if I missed anything, if there's anything else that uh, you use to differentiate uh, men's and women's clothing, let me know in the comments and uh, maybe we'll talk about it in a later video. So thank you so much for watching me here on Tempo Cells. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And I'd like to invite you to subscribe to my channel. Um, I do videos like this, which are informational. I do haul videos and, uh, you know, we're new here, so who knows what else. And uh, if you really like this video, I invite you to put a ring on it by clicking the bell. And when you click the bell, you will be notified whenever I have a new video up. So you can just rush right over here and watch it right away. Now, baby.